Did you know that you had a nest of snakes in there? What? Yes, they were in the barrels all the time. How many, did you ever look under those things? How many years have they been there? Well, he realized for life he never had looked under there. That's where the snakes were coming from. Look at the metaphor, dear ones. The things that you would never touch, the things that were absolute true to you, the things that your father put there. If you had moved them, it would be almost a travesty. It would be to his memory. You just don't move those things that are so important to you. That perhaps your pastor and your priest told you, or your mom or your dad, or that, that professor that you love so much, and those barrels don't move because that's a tribute to their memory. And under the barrel were the snakes. Because they were never moved. I think you get it. I think you get it. Sorry to tell you this, but that playhouse, I gotta get rid of it. What was numbed at this time? He says, go ahead, take the playhouse. The inspector said, you know, it's a little harder than we thought to take that playhouse. And he says, why? And he says, well, because you had a rat's nest in there. They were coming from your playhouse. Well, how often did you go in that playhouse? Not since I was a child. It was just in there. It's just, it's just a memory. I want you to look at this, dear ones. There are those of you who still have the memory of the playhouse and you will not go to that inner child because you've been told by someone that if you're going to be an adult, you act as an adult. And I'm telling you, dear ones, listen, listen, listen. If you will visit your inner child, it'll save your life. Your inner child is who you are. And he never went in there. Woe was an old soul and he was balanced. But as he ignored these things and just let them be, in came the rats and in came the snakes and all the other things. Not too long afterwards, Woe found himself in the backyard, in his lawn chair, sipping his drink with a straw with sunglasses on. And he noticed something right away. Color. The flowers were coming. And they had not been there all his life. He realized that all things were okay. The tree, he could still grab it and hang on to. It was still his support. But it could have new branches and different kinds of shade. The playhouse in his in his own mind and the and, and the tree house was still there. He could remember it. He could laugh and he could squeal. The barrels? <laughs> he had them removed. Who wants old barrels in your backyard? That's the parable. How's your backyard, dear one? How many of you felt the earthquake? Now let me give you another secret. The earthquake's different for all of you. It was yesterday, it was 2012, perhaps it's tomorrow. Something that shakes the foundation of your belief and it doesn't have to be negative. You can have an epiphany of saying, I recognize my backyard and it's not pretty. I don't want an earthquake, I just want a new tree. This would be the wise old soul who says, you don't have to take me to zero for me to get it. Then there will be others who will have issues in their life that will take them to a place where you have to face things you didn't want to face. And you'll cry out to God and that, what have you done? What's wrong? What have I done? Why am I here? Why is this happening to me? I'm speaking to somebody in the audience. I'm a good person. I'm a good old soul. I believe in these things. Why is this happening to me? And the answer is because you're stubborn. And you know it. And you're going to go through this. And you're going to come out the other side with light. And the tree will be pruned, but it won't kill it. This is how you are. Every human, absolutely, elegantly different in every single, every single way. But all of you have a backyard. 
changes that may have to occur in your consciousness and even what you believe when I ask who are you. When you start to analyze who you might be on this planet and what you might be here for. And the answers are beautiful. There's majesty in the answers. There's magnificence in all of the realizations when you start answering one by one. This is the message of Cryon and has been for 30 years. We just tell it different every time. And so it is. <laughs>